Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have did the validations and all those things for this uh, sign up form. Now, what we will try to do is we will try to submit that sign up form uh, to the authentication. So, we will try to uh, sign up the user into our Firebase authentication database. We will try to sign up the user. Okay. Now, before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to my channel, please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more web latest front end development courses coming to this video now what is the thing we are having right now so this is the sign up right so this is the sign up so now right now we need to submit this sign up to the database so whatever the database it may be so you may have a different database you may have a different api URLs will be having right now in this uh, project what we are trying to do is we are trying to use this uh, firebase uh, firebase api we are trying to use so let's go to this firebase api and here we are having <coughs> real time database See here we are having the real time database right so here we will be not saving this email or password and all those things here we will be not saving where we will be saving is so right now first we need to change the rules so whoever is accessing my api so they they need to be authenticated so right now here i can keep auth is not equal to equal to null okay so he should be authenticated so in this firebase you can you will be writing like this so if you are having uh, if you are using another APS or anything means you can use the, their own way so they will be having their official docs you can use so now I, I have changed the rules so whoever is authenticated only they can access my API first thing is first we have completed now I need to do the somehow I need to save the username and password I need to get the authentication thing so you will be having a separate option authentication so here in this authentication you need to do the sign in method okay the sign in method so you will be having lot of sign in methods you will be having so right now we are taking only the email and password thing so i will click here and i will click on enable so that i can save the username and so here here the list of users will be saved here so what are the pro users i am creating using the sign up method in my project those all things will be come coming and saving it here okay so now i have written the sign in method and my and now now i can use the authentication thing login and sign up process i can use for my database database is nothing but what i can say is this is the database now in order to use uh, in order to use the authentication and all the things so firebase have a separate api that is firebase authorized api so if you want you can use so you can type firebase sign up api or authorized api you can search in the google you'll be able to see this authorized api if you open this one you'll be able to see this see this document now here we are we are concerned with the sign up with we will be able to see that we are concerned with the sign up with email and sign in with email and password so sign up and sign in so re registering and login is the concern we are in. we are concerned so right now what we need to do we need to do the sign up thing so i will click on the sign up here you will be able to see that sign up with email or password so in order to sign up with email or password what we need to do we need to we need to do the post request we need to do the post request to this url and the api key will be given by the what i can say by the firebase api so now we need what we need to send the data we need to send the email password and the return secure token so the return secure token should always be true so for their concern so we need to send it as always true and we need to send the email and password we have the email and password with us and now what is the response we will be getting is we will be getting the token okay the token which we need to send okay and email so what are the email you are having email and the refresh token so for the newly created uh, so user you will be getting the refresh token and the expire since so the doc the token when it will be expired and the local id so that is the nothing but what we can say is primary key of the id of the user so these are the details which we will be getting as a response so let's try to implement this one in our project now i can go to my project here okay and i can i can close all these things and here if i open this one and you will be able to see the auth component right so here you are having the auth component and here i will be getting the form submit from here i will be getting the form submit first is first what we can write is so here in our project here anybody can so we have disabled this button right we cannot rely on this disabling thing so why because the user uh, the, the user who are using this one can go to the can go to the console and they can enable the button so that is the reason what we can do is here we can write our logic if auth form 
so if not of auth form dot valid so if it is not valid just return okay so we are we are cross checking again so if the form is not valid just stop there now we are doing the sign up thing so actually our form both uh, login and sign up is one and the same right so we need to check this one if this dot is login mode okay if this dot is login mode so if it is in the login mode base that means we need to do the login request so here we will we'll do it afterwards so perform login call okay login request call something like this we can do or otherwise else is the is our sign up request now we need to do the sign up request here so in order to do the sign up request what we will try to do is we will try to use the service so we already have auth service right so we already have the auth service so let's open this auth service and let's write sign up method so i am keeping these methods like this only so i will draw so that we, we can remove this one afterwards so i am writing this sign up method so what this sign up method will take so sign up method will take email and password so these are the email and the password of type string so we will have having these things and now i need to make a http call so in order to make the http call first we need to inject so let's write at the top at the rate injectable and if you are if you want to provide so you can uh, directly write it here so if you don't want to mention in the uh, app dot module you can directly you can directly mention provided in root so now it will be automatically added to the app dot module now here i will be using the constructor and i need to inject http client so private http http client so i have injected a http client so you don't forget to import here now in this sign up what i will try to do i will try to call the this dot http dot post call so what is the end url what is the endpoint url what is the endpoint url we are having so here i can copy this one all okay i can copy this one all and i can paste it directly in this one so this one is the endpoint error now right now what we need to have is we need to have the api key so where i can get this api key so if you go here and if you go to our project and if you go here in the project settings okay in the project settings you will be having the api key here so we, let's copy this api key and let's paste this api key here so now i pasted this api key now i need to send the post data so here we will be creating we will be sending an object first one will be the email and second one will be the password and third one is nothing but what is so they are asking us to send required return secure token so this should be always true it seems so now i will be sending the return secure token true so email password and these three things i am sending and we need to return this observable instead of subscribing this one we need to return this observable what is the data we will be getting here so this is the response we are getting the response let's create an interface for this response so so that it will be for us intelsense and all those things it will be very easy so let's create an interface auth response data and i will be having what are, what are the things i am having first one is the id token okay id token of type string and another one is what i can say email email and refresh token okay email of type string and refresh token of type string and the expire sim expire sim of type string and last one is local id okay fine local id of type string okay so these are the uh, what i can say th these are the uh, data what we will be getting from the auth response so we can write it here as generic type so the response we can expect it something like auth response data right we can expect this one right auth response data so this is the data what we will be getting now let's try to call this day one so now i can go into this app auth component.ts and here in the else part i need to call it so before calling this one what i need to do i need to inject that auth service so let's go here constructor private sorry private auth service auth service all right 
auth service and here what we can do this is the auth service right okay auth service okay so we have injected the auth service so here we need to call the in the else part this dot auth service auth service dot sign up we need to call the sign up call and we need to send the email where we will be getting the email in the auth form so auth form dot in the value we will be having the email email and auth form dot value dot password so i am getting i am sending the emails so i can write dot subscribe so upon successful making that one so please send the response to me so we will do the console.log response and what we will try to do and here we will be having the error error also we will write right error and here we will be consoling the error so we have consoled the error also and we have written the http call now let's try to execute this one so now if we do here if we do the call and i am writing here test at the rate test.com and one two three four five six is my password let's click on login first so when you click on login nothing is happening why because so we we didn't perform the login request up to now so we are we have done only the sign up request let's switch to sign up and let's try to do the sign up request if i click on sign up it is trying to make a call okay it is not it is not making a call i think okay so let's click on again sign up okay not making so let's refresh so it is compiled successfully and let's try try it right again test at the rate test.com and one two three four five six which to sign up and what i can do here i can make the sign up call now we are able to see make a call so we did we made, we did make a call but we are getting an error what is the error we are getting we are trying to send some uh, uh, the problem where we are getting is yeah okay so we are trying to send some extra hi is equal to hello world these are params we are trying to send so where we are trying to send these all params so there is nothing but we are using the auth interceptors because of this auth interceptors we are having this one okay so for the time being what i can do is i can comment out this one and i can comment on this headers also okay so now so now what i can do is let's try to uh, do the request call again so now let's do the request call so here i can do test at the rate test.com and one two three four five six is my password and switch to sign up and do the sign up call so we successfully made the call and if you see the response and we are able to see the response that we are getting email expire scene id token kind local id refresh token okay so we are able to get the data and also if we try to check in the here in this uh, sorry in this authentication if you try to check in this authentication and here also you are able to save the user here so this is the way we will be doing the sign up request using the firebase authentication api so i have successfully made the sign up call okay so now what we will try to do is we will try to already the user is existed now we will try to do the again the sign up call so again i try to click on this sign up and what we are getting so we are getting an error it is saying that email already exists so email already exists it is saying so successfully we are making the sign up call so it is saying that email already exists in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to uh, do the error handling and all those things we will try to do if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you